remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This is a case that concluded back in October of 2019, but I did not get a chance to cover it, being that I lost a cousin over the holidays due to drunk driving. I've been really uh, taking a look at a lot of these cases, and this one stood out for the simple fact that this woman who was 31 years old received a 50-year sentence for drinking and driving, an accident that killed a family of three. Before handing down the sentence, Hillsborough Circuit Judge Christopher Sabella referenced a jail cell call recorded after Amber Pereira's arrest in which she told a family member her life was ruined. Sabella told Pereira she also ruined a lot of other lives and ended three others. The 2017 crash killed 29-year-old Rita Felipec, her 41-year-old husband, Louise, and her daughter, 8-year-old Georgia. Prosecutors had asked for a life sentence. The defense asked for 20 years, followed by probation. The judge threw the book at her with a 50-year sentence, which is in essence a life sentence. She's 31 years old. <sighs> These drunk driving accidents, you know, they hit home for more than one reason. One, you know, you're talking about a life, a, a loss of life, people being maimed out there. We're talking about something that could easily be avoided by people being responsible, drinking responsible. With Uber and these ride share services out here, there really is no reason for someone to drink and drive. At the same time, almost anybody who has ever drank alcohol, including myself, who owns a vehicle, has driven a car before while they were intoxicated. Now, what level of intoxication is the question? Because you can be one point over the legal limit and in effect, you're drinking and driving, you're drunk, right? So, well, now you're not drinking and driving, but you know, it's considered you're considered to be driving under the influence. So, how do you, how do you fight something like this? You know, how do you get around something like this? It comes down to everything else in life. People have to be held accountable for their actions. Even if it's a situation where they're killed or you kill a friend, like what happened with my cousin. His friend was driving, driving while drunk. The thing is like when you are in control of a vehicle, when you're driving, you're responsible, not just for yourself. You're responsible for every single individual that's inside of that vehicle. Their lives are in your hand. And you're also responsible for the other people that's out there on that road. When a person is drinking and driving, that car turns into a reckless weapon and anybody can get it. Just heard about a guy who was driving on the other side of the road. I was telling a friend of mine about my cousin. He was saying, oh man, that happened to my, my uncle just got killed in a car accident. You know, dude driving on the wrong side of the road, drunk. So this is something that can touch you anybody at any time. It's not a good sign when your defense attorney is asking for 20 years. That means that you know they finna hit you hard. When the defense attorney is asking for 20 years, you know you're about to get it. There are people out there who have multiple 
DUIs, multiple DWIs, and they're still driving. That's the crazy thing about America. One person can go into a courtroom with the exact same infraction, being accused of the exact same crime, and it depends on how much money you have, what your ethnicity is, what your profession is, who you know, your gender, sexuality. It just depends. It's a wide range of things that will determine what kind of time you get. If the judge had a bad night, is he, is he feeling good? Did he get him some last night? Or while he was in the chamber before he came out? All types of variables in America. This is why I do believe, one of the reasons why I do believe that most people take chances committing crimes because they see the wide range of punishment. If you knew that if you do this, you're going to get that. If you do this, you're going to get that. I think it would be a lot different in America. Crime would be a lot different in America if punish, punishment was a lot different. If the punishment was consistent, it didn't matter what your ethnicity was, didn't matter what your gender was, didn't matter if you was rich or poor, it didn't matter where you lived, I think it would be a lot different. Like overseas, man, like in different parts of the world, you steal something, they chop your hand off automatically. So you know, if I steal something and I get caught, Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. My hand get my hand is getting chopped off. I think that would change a whole lot of people's minds. I think if people knew automatically if they drink and drive and they get stopped drinking and driving, I think uh, and automatically before you get a chance to kill somebody, you get an automatic 10-year sentence, I think that would be a lot of changes in people's attitude toward drinking and driving. I think you have to do one thing or the other. You either drink or you drive. You don't do both at the same time. Boy, she got a lot of time to think about what she did. She ain't gonna see the inside of a vehicle from behind a steering wheel for a long time. Man, cars might be flying by the time she get out of prison. Man. Too bad she wasn't a rich kid from Texas with affluenza. She might be sitting at home by now. No more talk. What the talking about?